move to cave paintings in museums make us violent? The anti-beef movement. Both Hitler and Mussolini were vegetarian. And we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks. I'm going to hysterics in science class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? That's all today on I Say, You Say. We shall have names, but that's a bit. I'm Peyton. Is it, as I think, a case of share and share mine? Or go for the man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the quite hydroponic farm? Or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor is my home for wife. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phone. Uh, yeah, all right, here's the deal. Funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I, I mean, how is that fair? I, I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite, uh, you know, whatever that means. But the people just respond badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so. I hope not. Have you got a question not about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? I'm you know, I used to be on the radio like you. back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi to my stepbrother Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey Phil, if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. When? Ha, <laughs> good point, Dolly. Gotcha. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew tobacco. It relaxed them I mean, between Donna. stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes, smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> and he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs, bringing expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities? Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting you anywhere with me tonight. Promise? The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot a lot of money, but so is selectively calling the population. So what I'm proposing is to change the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on. Oh, I say you say. Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world the whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucked. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize all my land. Just want to say thank you. That's some quality broadcasting. Yeah, uh, thanks. That. Hey, CJ. Roll it up, G. Hey, Lo. This party is jumping. We got a gang of crazy ass bitches in the house. You coming over, homie? Uh, I don't know, man. I have some plans tonight. But we had a big disaster. I won't be rapping. My mic's broken. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna come over right now, then. Thanks, I'm appalled at you, Mary. Why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses, and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous mm -hmm. with your...
off the motherfucking mic, bro. Hey, hey, what's up, homie? What's up, Rod? See all the homies in the back, man, away from this whack music. Man, I'm serious. Damn, man, this lyrics is horrible. That dude needs some work, man. Hell yeah. What up, fellas? Hey, what's up with you, baby? So you back on the block, huh? Hell yeah. You a real killer, huh? What he done that I ain't, huh? Let's stall him out, man. Hey, relax, man. Hey, a baller's posse's about to run up. They're headed up here right now. Looks like we backed them ballers against the wall, huh? Hey, CJ, strap up. Scroll Street. Damn, man, I go get us some more backup. Okay, get some cars, block the road. The rest of y'all get heated.
wall, cover the alleyway. Oh shit, okay. Let's go, bitch. Behind us, CJ, behind us! Man, I ain't never seen the ballers roll that deep before. Yeah, they heard Carl Johnson was running with his brother again. Yeah, for sure. Come on, let's get back to the party. Shit, man. Once Lope got off the mic, then the party got started. 